everyone! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I painted this Chester Chickadee using acrylic paints. Now, I'm using a square stretch canvas, 20 by 20 uh, centimeter, and I've just painted the entire canvas with a mid to dark green tone or paint just to get the entire canvas covered and there's no white showing through. It's not perfect, it's just to get the white of the canvas covered. And now I'm going coming in with a white uh, chalk pencil that's just to draw in the bird and draw in the branch and get the proportions right. The reason why I'm using a white chalk pencil is because no harsh lines will show through when I'm painting and it basically will disappear once I start painting. It's just a guide. So now I'm coming through with an airbrush just to get a bit of a variation of the greens in the background. Um, I'm drying it with the hair with the hair dryer between layers. Um, it's not going to be very detailed the background. It's just to get a bit of different colors of greens and pinks in the background and some shadow areas. Um, I'm using an airbrush because it's much faster and it gives you a smoother look. Um, you could achieve this with a uh, brush with acrylic and then you blend it with a mop brush. Uh, but the airbrush is much faster. So now I've painted the entire or blocked in the entire bird um, and the branch with a layer of raw umber. And now I'm starting to work with some black and raw umber just to get uh, the darkest areas of the bird covered in. So what I'm going to do now, you'll see... Um, I'm just blocking in all the areas of different colors. So I'm blocking the areas where the shadows are going to be, the darkest areas, and then I'm going in with the burnt umber for the medium brown and blocking in those areas, and uh, as well as the branch at the same time. And then um, now I'm coming through with a mixture of titanium white and Payne's gray uh, just to get some of those darker gray areas and um, the areas that are going to be lighter with uh, more white. Um, it is toned down a lot with the paints gray at the moment. I am going to come through with a lighter mixture of the two as well. I'm retaining the pure white just for the highlight in the eye, um, as well as pure black. It's for just the highlight of the, or the, the, the pupil of the eye, and the highlight is the pure white. Um, at the moment, I'm still using the mixture with the paints gray, just to tone down that white a bit. So basically, at the moment, you can see it's looking very blotchy and not looking very... Um, uh, three-dimensional and realistic but that's because I'm just blocking in all the colors I am going to start refining that now in the coming layers where you can actually see the bird come to life you can see I'm just putting in some of the shadow areas and now I'm coming through uh, with the titanium white with a bit of uh, paint gray again but this is a much lighter uh, mixture um, this is just because I want to keep some of those darker shadow areas in the under the under, from the underpainting um, of the bird but I want to also bring out the texture of the feathers and make it look three-dimensional and make the texture of the feathers come through and you can see the depth of the feathers and those shadows sh shining through and then I'm also or showing through and then I'm also using um, some light brown uh, that's burnt umber mixture as well with some uh, titanium white as well just to get some of those lighter areas on the wings now I'm just coming through with some burnt sienna and just adding um, some of that, a slight wash of it, just over certain areas to have that um, basically uh, a little bit of variation of browns because this bird has got a lot of browns, whites, grays and blacks in it. So um, I'm just defining that and now I'm just working on his little feet. Uh, remember, although the feet are very small and the legs are very thin, um, try to keep in mind that they must have shadows and highlights as well um, in order for it to look realistic. Um, pay close attention to your reference photos. You need to really look uh, closely at the shadows and the highlights because that's what's going to make your drawing or painting look more realistic and three-dimensional if you include all of that in your actual drawing. Same with the branch. I'm using raw umber, then I've used some burnt umber, burnt sienna, and some mixture of that titanium white with paint gray just to add those brightest areas on, theirs, on the branch as well. So now you can see I'm just coming in with some of those highlights. There's that brightest highlight on the eye, some shadow areas. And then I'm going to just refine that beak. And as you can see, it's looking um, much more realistic and three-dimensional. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like and share. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe. Till the next one. Bye.